I'm not going to bore you and make this like every other golf video out there about what's in the bag. I mean, I, I kind of am, but I'm going to finish with the top of my bag. And I think it's probably going to surprise a lot of people. And I think that 99% of golfers out there should probably have what I've got in the top of my bag. It's absolutely game changing so far. So stay to the end because you need to see this. And I seriously think that most golfers need to put it in the bag like I've put it in my bag. Okay, let's start at the back end of the bag first. This is actually a new club for this year. This is a Odyssey White Hot Versa Double Wide. Um, I took a kind of gamble on this. I've seen it in a few videos from various other um, YouTube golfers and um, I really like it. It's 34 inch in length. Um, I've only had it a few times, but I've putted pretty well of it. Got some alignment sticks as well. Wedges. Yeah, I mean, this is a little bit on the dirty side, this club, but I've got three of these. I've got a 58, um, eight degree bounce. I've got a 54 and I've got a 50. This is the tailor-made mill grind three wedge. Really nice and spinny. You can see I'm one of those people that leaves the stickers on and doesn't take them off. Um, I've had these kind of a year and a half now. Just a standard kind of dynamic gold S200 shaft. Uh, I really like these. I got a good bargain on them. I got them from you. Um, I do need to clean them more often, but they're great. Pitching wedge to four iron. Yes, I use iron head covers. Sorry. Um, get down to the comments. I'm sure a lot of you will hate me for that, but there you go. I, I like to protect my clubs as much as I can because I will eventually probably sell them on. Oh, there's a little chip out of this nine iron. When did that get there? Anyway, um, yeah, so four to nine iron. These are the Mizuno Pro 225s. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just about a scratch. Well, a one handicap golfer. It's gone up a bit recently. X100 shafts. As I say, Mizuno Pro 225s. Um, they're, they're the hollow back thing. So they look like a forged club, but I mean, this bit's cast. It's forged on the face. Um, I need as much help as I can get. I can hit some really good ones. I can hit some horrendous shots too. They feel great. They go a decent distance because, you know, they're slightly stronger lofted than standard. This is a tailor-made Stealth UDI. This is a really nice club, this. It is an extra stiff um, all Dilla Ascent shaft. It can go kind of about 250 with no wind. And I can really vary the trajectory with the with the shot as well. So it's very versatile. It's 18 degrees, so it's quite strong, which is why it goes 250. Uh, I really like that. It's very, very good in the wind, through the winter and the summer as well. It can go miles in the summer. So that is my two iron. And I've got a five wood, which I'm just only just put in the bag. I did have a three wood. I've switched it out. You'll see why in a minute when we get to the very top of the bag so five wood uh, a stealth 10 meter stealth 19 degree and it's got a hazardous yellow 6.5 in it and that really it's you might say it's the same as the as the two iron you know it's 19 degrees versus versus 18 um but it just gives me a different shot option so if there's no wind or it's with the wind and i want it to go high maybe off the fairway or the tee then i'm going to use this club and i'm really excited about this I've been trying to get hold of one of these, a version of this for a couple of years now. Um, and I, I kind of hesitated the last few years and I missed out because I couldn't get hold of one. And this year I just bit the bullet. Um, my driver, if anyone knows me, can be amazing. It can go 350 yards down the middle or it can go 230 yards out of bounds right. And it's 50-50 as to what's going to happen on any shot. It's extremely disruptive, or it can be extremely effective. But the consistency is just not there for me. And I'm working, I'm working on it. My whole game is, is pretty good at the moment, but my driver is just not, it is horrendous. So in the short term, I've taken a punt. And so far, I've only had this a couple of weeks. It's been a good punt. It wasn't great a couple of days ago. It, it was all right, but this is the point. It wasn't great. And I had a few misses, 
but the misses were consistent. I still got good yardage out of this and it still kept me in play. And when it's on, it's still very, very good. So what club am I talking about? What is the club that I started off at the beginning of this saying that everyone, pretty much everyone, should get this? Hell, even Rory has, has come out. There's some videos of him using this and it looks like it's going in his bag. So I can't be wrong. And I will say, I put it in the bag before Rory. So, you know, you might have guessed what it is. It is the TaylorMade Burner Mini Driver Copper version. So it's the same spec as last year, but it's the copper version. They've just kind of put this nice cr copper stuff on top of it. I've got 11 and a half degrees here. I've set the weight further forwards to kind of lower the spin. And I've got it set upright as well. I like my woods upright. Um, it's just the standard shaft at the moment. I will probably put a different three wood extra stiff in there. Still got the label on it. But this has been brilliant. And I did a bit of testing with it today. I will do a proper review video on it. But the testing was showing that my dispersion with this is much tighter. It gets rid of my left miss really altogether. It still misses a bit right. But on average, it's going about 270, 280. When I really hit it, I can get nearly 300 yards out of this. Whereas my driver, on average, it was going 10 yards further. This is today in testing, 10 yards further, but it was missing left 80 yards. It was missing right 80 yards, which is my point. It has a miss left and right big time. So I think it's definitely looking like it's going to really help me off the tee when I'm hitting driver. And the other thing about this, is it's very good off the deck as well. It's got this K sole on it, so it still cuts through the turf and it's going to go further than three wood. I absolutely middled one off the fairway yesterday. So I don't need a three wood anymore. I don't need a driver anymore, at least in the short term. I'm going to put this in and it opens up my bag a bit more. Now I've got a five wood in there. I can keep my two iron in there. So everyone, I think, should definitely look at trying this. Try it. You, there's no harm in trying it. Look at the numbers, look at the dispersion, and it could really be the thing that helps you off the tee and ultimately is going to help lower your scores. It's helping me already. Let me know in the comments what have you got in your bag? Have you got any of the similar things? Have you already got a burner mini or something similar? And yeah, if you like that video, consider subscribing for more golf goodness. And also, don't forget if you do subscribe, then you are. 45% more likely to hit all your fairways off the tee next time you play. Thanks for watching.